So about two months ago, I decided I wanted to build a small form factor PC. And after seeing the hundreds of dollars that it would take to get a case pre-made online, I decided to look to 3D printing to get this thing built. And there were some cases that were already available, but unfortunately they wouldn't print on the printers that I had at hand. In particular, the Cetus 3D Mark II Extended. So I took it upon myself to design this case. And this is the first attempt of a case that I, I made. And a lot of things in this design would eventually show up in the final design as well. The main purpose of this case was to fit a 70 millimeter tall CPU cooler, as well as a dual slot GPU and internally house an SFX power supply. So this was my first stab at this, and obviously the power supply cannot fit anywhere here, but this is what I originally built to kind of gauge what I would be needing. One of the things I wanted to avoid was printing with supports. So um, as you can see here, every single flat surface that needs to be printed sideways has a ramp built up to it or a slope that way you can print it all in one piece, this part facing down, and then get all these built here. And this is a very early design, but it kind of showed what I was looking for. Motherboard here, ITX, and then GPU here. I did also briefly look at a design, something more similar to what you'd get in a normal PC case. Um, the main difference being the GPU is raised up here in order to uh, make the, the, the dimensions fit on the 180 by 180 millimeters of the Cetus. And while this would probably have worked and if I wanted to continue building it this way, I didn't think this would be the best use of space for the design. So I eventually scrapped this idea, but it still looks pretty nice. This is what I came up with uh, with the original design and it overall looks pretty similar to the original one. The biggest thing is extending this piece out here in order to hold the 70 millimeter CPU fan, adding in brackets to hold the GPU and a pass through for the PSU cable. Although I still didn't put in space really for uh, that much space for a PSU. There's no holes or anything to, to mount it to, um, as well as designing a simple case to go on top of it with a, a pass through for the, the power button. and. Overall, I thought it looked like a pretty pretty nice case, but um, following some of the advice I was getting on Reddit, I didn't think that this was going to be able to, to print very well due to the small width of these beams here. Uh, so since these are gonna be load bearing uh, it's when it's sideways, we wanted something a little bit stronger than this. So I eventually scrapped this design, but uh, it's still interesting to see what it was. This was my initial try at a new design, and there it, it's very reminiscent of what would end up being. The, the biggest differences are, I was originally planning on using metal standoffs, so I'd screw pieces in here, and the, you finally see the PSU mounts are there. And now there's a little bit better distinction uh, for the GPU here, and a little bit more of a curved design for the pass around for the GPU cable. And this is what I took and kind of ran with trying to make this whole thing work. So the first thing I wanted to do was try to eliminate as many pieces of metal as possible. So things that I would need to buy later on. And this is what I got to uh, pretty much halfway through, pretty close to the end actually and still looks very similar from the inside. You can now see I did the same thing here with the standoffs, bringing in the, the, the slopes in order to print off the standoffs here. There are also standoffs here for the GPU. These all had to be moved ever so slightly as I kept printing and printing and printing and printing and printing and, printing and finding little faults with the design. So uh, this is pretty close to the final here. Added in screw holes here so that would screw in to this plug here on the on the case itself and had the same idea from the other case 16 millimeter power button still see the, the same 
diamond shape pattern cut out um, and still have PSU standoffs that were required here. This is what I ended up with when the, the final version of the case I designed. The biggest differences between the one we just looked at and this one are these support brackets here on the side. So this actually will keep the case on top of the body as well as keep it the case from kind of bending in and touching some of the CPU fans or the GPU fans, especially when under heat. Uh, so that was all added in uh, after I printed it and the fans started hitting plastic. So that's really the end of the design changes here. The outside didn't change too much. There are now two versions of the outside. This one includes support for a 120 millimeter fan to, to be printed on top and attached here to the top of the case. And there is no screw holes vis visible on the outside. And then there's the regular shorter case that doesn't have space for a fan up top. But other than that, they are pretty much identical. What's really nice about this case is that other than the PCIe extender and the standoffs for the PSU, everything is printed that you actually need. So you can save a whole lot of money, use pretty much one kilo of PLA or ABS, if ideally if you have ABS, especially for the interior, and you get a, a fully functional PC case that's between you know six and a half liters if you've got the small end to about eight liters on the big end for the extended case and everything works just fine here and once i was able to take this design i can adjust it to fit whatever needs that, that i'm i'm looking for so this is another case that i was working on for somebody else and they had some specific needs for what they um, wanted to fit inside the case so they have the psu here at the bottom Motherboard here is still on this side. GPU is still on their side. So this interior section is still the same as the other case I'd already designed, as well as having a, a mount here for an internal screen and dual mounts for 92 millimeter fans up top. So bringing able to, like once you get the design all set, you can then adjust it to whatever needs you have um, and make it kind of your own. Would I have done this after I knew that it would take me over a month to kind of perfect and get this design done. Um, it was a really good experience. I did all of this inside of Tinkercad uh, originally, so the, it was definitely a challenge to get all the exact measurements into, into that program. Uh, but once I got that all set up, I was able to get a, a very unique looking case, something that if I didn't end up putting it on Cult 3D would have been a one of a kind case. Um, and it also really let me kind of make it my own, making my own colors, making it, I can make it glow in the dark if I want to. I can print it so that it responds to heat and so the the PLA case will, will change colors as it heats up and cools down. So making a 3D printing case is really a, a very unique as well as very customizable experience. And I'm glad I don't have to do it again, but it was a really great experience and I really like the case I ended up with in the end. Eventually, I hope to make even more cases, something that, that doesn't require a, a GPU extension or doesn't require PSU standoffs, but that will be for another day. Thanks for watching guys, this is LOH Low Tech and this has been my custom 3D printed case. Subscribe.